Alright well, YouTube, sorry for the wind. So I'll show you guys I went and picked this up at Tractor Supply. It was like four four dollars and change, four or five bucks, whatever like that. <clears throat> it's uh I can't remember what size it is. It says like oh three gallon there you go. Right there. Made by Barons. Just tractor supply, uh, to cook with the Dutch oven. I'm sick of walking all over there, walking back and forth to get ingredients. I'm just gonna do it right here. Figure like on a Sunday or on a weekend, like later in the afternoon, people aren't gonna be here from that work here or whatever. I don't think anybody's gonna say anything. But to keep it contained and not make a mess, I'll try to keep it in there. And also did go ahead and had my, my wife bought me one of these. She saw it and she knew I tried to make one, and she realized how much bigger they were. And so anyway, more or less, she called me and said, "Do you want me to get it or not?" And it was seven dollars and eighty-eight cents. So she got it. And uh, the other one I packed away. Well, the tank's empty. Gotta clean it out. Uh, I'm gonna try to switch over to a different kind of charcoal. And I'm gonna try to make a dish today. Depending on if the wind dies down. So we'll see. But just a quick update. I'll show you guys some more in a bit. All right, guys, check it out. Today we're gonna cook some. I guess it's like a hominy casserole or whatever. Um, there's quite a few different people that on YouTube that are like cast iron cookers. Um, uh, what is the other one? Uh, one of them is outdoor cast iron cooking. They're a real good one. Um, then there's the one where I got this recipe. The guy's name I think is Kent Rollins, something like that. Kent Rollins, something. I'll try to leave a link to the, both of those channels in the description of this video. But I uh, just wanted to, this was like a little kind of a somewhat of a deviation. It is pretty dang pretty dang close to what he makes. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and make this today in the um, Dutch oven. And uh, we'll see how it goes. And try to get all these ingredients together and get everything all set up and ready to cook. Had to go grab some cast iron. Or some, uh, not cast iron. Had to go grab some charcoal. But uh, I'm going to try to do most of this on the um, tripod or whatever. It's a little bit windy out. We'll get this new cooking setup set up. But uh, yeah, we just got the great value uh, yellow hominy, a little bit of garlic, a little bit of Mrs. Dash, a little bit of pepper, and then the green chilies. Diced green chilies. Okay, so then we got. Um, Probably about half or three quarters of a large purple onion. He said to use two regular onions, but we honestly don't ever really buy onions. We always just buy the purple ones or the red ones, whatever you want to call them. And then got a pound of bacon, sliced up, about inch lengths. Um, just some regular cheese, you can pretty much use whatever you want. Some sour cream, and then in here we just got some, uh, just like probably about a half a cup of uh, spinach. That's not on his recipe, it's just something I added. And then I got a bunch of these. The uh, Diablo sauces. Every time I go to, <clears throat> every time me and my wife go to um, Taco Bell, grab a handful of seasonings, or not seasoning sauces, I guess you call them, whatever. And then we always end up having a cupboard that's like full of them. So I like to just throw them in soups and whatever, whatever uh, you get a chance to throw them in. And that's what we do with those. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this started on the Dutch oven. I go get that set up outside, and we'll get cooking. All right, so I'll just try something a little bit different. It's pretty windy out as far as. Um, camera using or whatever you know so I don't want to bring the camera out as much as I can and you get all that wind and annoying noise in your sound so I'm trying to film this inside or at least film it with the door open or closed or whatever but right now I'm cooking or starting up the charcoal and that new charcoal chimney thing so I just don't want to have it smell too bad in here but yeah we're going to get this started and um, we'll try to do as much filming as we can inside and we'll get this started here well look at that little kitchen setup outside Right here on the back porch. I don't know if you can hear that or not, but got some bacon sizzling in there. If I were to add the onion, get you close up on there. Got my hominy drained. Just starting all the little bullshit, you know, opening the cans and whatnot. So getting that stuff all set up. And we'll go ahead and start mixing this stuff together once I get this uh, bacon browned up. All right, so I don't know how well you can see it or not, but I uh, got my purple onion in there. Got that going, finishing off that bacon. Then over here, I've got all my stuff open finally. And then back there, I don't think I can be able to see, it. see the smoke anyway. Got my other little bit of, um, whatchamacallit, charcoal getting ready. Um, the only thing I might say about this little tin pan thing, um, it might restrict a little bit of the air. I figured, you know, it's only like four inches tall. Should get plenty of air in around it. So I might take and drill a couple of, let me see if I can get my finger in there, small holes around the bottom, like real small, quarter inch holes, a bunch of them or something, and uh, let a little air in. But it also won't let a whole lot of coals out. Because the idea is to not make a mess, be able to walk this to the dumpster or, you know, put it in a bag or whatever. i will spill it everywhere. So, you ready to add some more stuff and uh, we're almost done here. Alright, well as soon as I can scoot by you guys and turn the music down, uh, I've got everything browned up pretty much. The, um, the onion and the uh, <clears throat> bacon. Give that one more quick stir. 
And then I'm just gonna go ahead and add probably the hominy, then the what is it, the green chilies, um, and just pretty much just add everything. Okay, and put the sour cream in last, and, uh, stir it all up, and then throw the lid on. So go ahead and get that started. I'm gonna uh, just pause the radio for copyright bullshit, and then I'll get back here in just a second. All right, so one more stir. Alright, so we got that mixed up pretty good so far. Uh, and I'm just gonna throw in my spices. The only thing I did leave out is uh, I fall in love with this stuff, so I'm gonna add just a little bit. Not too much because the wife and kids are gonna eat it. One side, dog. Add a little spice on top of the other spices. This is just regular uh, Mrs. Dash. coating on the top and then this garlic here is the cheap stuff so it's super super strong so just a little bit all right and then a liberal amount of black pepper because I love it it's already just about boiling again so might not even need to mess with the top ones Get this stirred up and we'll go ahead and put the lid on. And then uh, we're only going to let it cook for about five minutes. Hopefully, you guys can hear me. We're only going to let it cook for about five minutes. Get everything added with the uh, Valentino sauce. And so, I'm just going to throw the lid on and we'll see what happens. It's going to get you guys paused here. Alright, so there we go. Got set up with the uh, sweet, sweet redneck. Um, not really redneck. If you're a guy with tools or a guy that has a garage. Obviously you're going to use a pair of channel locks or a pair of pliers or uh, something like this. I just happen to have some vice grips, so I threw those on there. And uh, that'll be used for my lid lifter. We got two days left. The cheapest place I could find a lid lifter was Gander Mountain. And I had to order it and have it sent to the store, like 15 bucks. So that will be here in a couple days and we won't have to mess with this anymore. But yeah, just a quick like 5-10 minutes. Uh, basically once you put the coals on and get it boiling, the whole thing, everything that's already in there is already cooked. So I'll open it up. Throw the cheese on and then I'll pull it off and throw it here on the, on the uh, concrete and let just the top do its work. And then really I'm just going to leave it because the wife and kid are gone. So I'm going to let it kind of marinate and soak in through itself. And then when they get home I'll pull it inside and we'll eat it. So I'll give you guys a showing here in a few minutes when I add the cheese. Alright guys, it's been five minutes. Look at that. You guys can smell it. It has a really weird smell when I opened it. It's almost like a, I don't know, like a crackers and... Crackers and pepper, I guess. I don't know. Kind of weird. I've never, I've never really eaten hominy a whole lot. Accidentally bought it a couple of times thinking it was corn. And I threw it in with stew or with uh, soups and stuff. But I've never really eaten a whole lot of it. So, 
Just gonna go ahead out there with the little uh, um, frosting spreader, clean out the sides, throw the cheese on. So I'll show you that guys out here in just a second. All right, so I pulled it off, set it right here on the concrete, and in the essence of time, just because I have a lot of it, waiting for the um, family to get home to eat anyway, I'm just gonna leave it sitting there and throw just the top on with just the coals on top. Side note, the pan, the giant, uh, I guess it's a feed tray or whatever, did work good <clears throat> for a cooking device, so I will be using that again. And then just real quick, see if I can get you over there with this. I use that little cake spatula thingy just to clean the sides off. Save myself a little bit of work in the cleaning process. Still bubbling just a little bit, so I'm gonna go out there and throw this cheese on real quick for you guys. And then uh, we'll close it up and we'll leave it just to sit. All I can get to, one of you guys see is all I can get to is the store to grab this cheap cheese. This is the one ingredient that I actually forgot to grab. So I'm just gonna go ahead and throw the whole thing in there. And then I'll just spread the whole thing across the top. We'll go ahead and put this top back on. And I'm just gonna leave it. Let her kinda of start to hold its heat. The cool thing about using fire vice grips, in case you guys didn't know, is they really don't get hot. I'm gonna leave that right there. And that'll be good for when the rest of the family gets home. And uh, hopefully you guys can hear me. Got it all set aside, and uh, I'm just gonna leave it. The cast iron should hold its heat, and a little bit of coals on top. Should definitely have enough to melt the cheese. I can go ahead and pick up my mess, and wait for the family to get home, and we'll give this a try. Probably should give you guys a quick shot of it inside on the oven. Probably be like another hour or so. All right guys, so left it outside for a while. It's actually, uh, eh, it's still pretty warm. I can touch it, I can carry it. The little bail doesn't get very hot, but somehow was in there editing my videos and kind of got lost in time or whatever, looking through some other videos and um, lost time and lost some videos somehow. I don't know what the heck happened, but hopefully I can pull it, pull it together enough videos to make this one work. I, th I lost about five videos and it was like right in the middle of the cook, so hopefully I can find them somehow. But anyway, how hot is this? Here is the end product. Still waiting on the wife and son to get home, so there you go. Cheese is melted. Mmm, that smells good. I like cheese and sour cream. And I absolutely hate sour cream. The only thing sour cream is good for for me is I like to keep these. That's about it. But anyway, that's pretty much it for this video, probably. Uh, probably not going to play it or anything like that. It's going to be a while before they get home. But it's just stay warm in this cast iron. Um, I don't know. Maybe next video or later on this evening or whatever like that, I'll tell you guys how good it was or if I'd make it again or how good, a, how good it wasn't. But anyway. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. I enjoy the comments and uh, whatnot. So, anyway, we'll see you guys next time.